Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica Stalker. I am a real estate agent here in Beverly Hills, but more importantly, I talk all things metaverse. So just for the fact that I give you metaverse content every single day, you guys, I'm in my workout outfit right now and I'm like, I gotta film a metaverse video. Please hit the bell notification to always stay up to date on all things metaverse because remember, the more you stay up to date, the more money you can make. We're going to talk about today the the biggest scam in the metaverse. So let's get started. All right, you guys, it may not be a surprise to most of you who follow me and actively watch my videos that the biggest scam is the fact that huge corporations and businesses are paying millions of dollars for land in the metaverse that don't actually have that kind of value. So we have Decentraland and people are literally paying up to $2 million for a plot of land just to put a shopping mall in there. It's a great idea, except here's the problem. Nobody in Decentraland goes to a shopping mall. Nobody buys clothes or bags for their avatars in Decentraland. Now there are a few people, I'm not gonna argue that, but I will say the main audience in Decentraland doesn't shop around. Maybe they gamble, maybe they go to art galleries, but if we look at the clientele and the foot traffic in Decentraland, it's a lot of game lovers and a lot of tech lovers, but we don't have the everyday person in the metaverse. So someone like me, which I probably would shop and get a cute little purse for my avatar, they don't have me in Decentraland every single day because the graphics suck it lags and it looks very Minecraft and game-like. Right now, the biggest scam is the lie that big corporations are being told. They think because the metaverse is the next big thing, the metaverse that's popular right now has to be the next big thing. That is a lie. Just because the metaverse is the next big thing, which it is, the metaverse is the next iteration of the internet, that does not mean that the metaverse that's popular right now is the next big thing. That is the biggest common mistake that people are told. So let me break it down for you. The metaverse, of course, if you follow me, and if you don't, I'll explain it simply. The metaverse is the next iteration of the internet. So we have web one, which is like a 2D screen that you read off of, but you can't interact. So back in web one, we had like Wikipedia and news articles, but you couldn't like comment or interact with other people. Then we had web two, which is the social media phase, which is Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, you can now like, comment, and interact with other people through the internet. It wasn't just reading. You can now interact with what you're reading and what you're watching. Now, Web3 is what we're going into right now, and it's a 3D immersive world. So Web3 is the next iteration of the internet, and that is without a doubt. Technology is innovating at such a fast rate that it's inevitable. That is the next internet. This is the next generation's internet. What they're gonna grow up with is Web3. It is the virtual reality world. Instead of going on YouTube and typing on your computer, you're now going to put on some sort of headset or goggles or contact lenses and go into the internet. You're going into a virtual reality world. So they're not typing anymore. Instead of typing, they're maybe going to actually speak like, hey, this is a really cool video. I really like it. They're going to actually interact with the internet. They're going to jump inside the internet. So that is not a lie. That is not a scam. That is the next iteration of the internet and it is happening no matter what. The big lie though is that the big metaverses right now are the next big thing. And I'm gonna tell you why they're not. The reason why I don't think any of the metaverses that are popular right now will be popular in five to 10 years from now is simply because we don't actually have the foundation or the technology to support what the metaverse is going to entail. So in order to have a 3D immersive environment, you need really good tech. You need really good coding. You need really good software engineering. And we don't have that foundation yet in order to build on top of it. So Decentraland, although it's an amazing concept and it's cool that we were able to get corporations and businesses coming in and actually buying plots of land and showing what's possible, it's like a case study, but it's not the final result. Decentraland is just a test rabbit. So so it's just showing us what's possible, but they don't have the technology yet to actually make it come to life in the way that the metaverse is going to come to life. So like I said, I say this in a lot of my videos, Decentraland has the right concept, it has the right idea. However, it lacks the technology to bring the idea to life. Do I think there's going to be a metaverse that brings this idea to life? Absolutely. However, the technology needs to be accessible and cheap enough to get into so that I can hold it on my phone or I can hold it on my laptop. When I go on my laptop, Decentraland isn't supported really 
on my laptop. It lags all the time, let alone support it on my phone, which I think the metaverse that will be successful is a metaverse that will be able to be brought up on your iPhone. I don't know who's going to create it. I stay up to date every single day on all the different metaverses. I just think we don't actually have the technology cheap enough yet to build a strong foundation. So we're getting there and we're getting close, but in order to actually have a 3D immersive world, you need to have some sort of goggles or glasses that can take you into that world. And we don't have any yet that are cheap enough and also seamless enough to carry around in your purse. No one's gonna carry an Oculus around in their purse. It's actually funny because I just did a TikTok on this and there is a guy that carries it around in his purse or in his backpack. However, that is not very common. You don't walk around and see people carrying their huge Oculus set in their purse. Just like back in the day when people had these big bulky computers, you couldn't carry that around. But now we have these little MacBook Pros that you just pop in your purse and it's easy to you know, carry around with you. And not only that, we actually have an iPhone that does the work of a computer. It pretty much replaces a computer and it's tiny and you can bring it anywhere. So when we get the technology like the glasses that take you into the metaverse that are seamless and easily transferable, then we can create a metaverse that connects to those and then we will be shooting to the moon. So until then, I still think that we're five, 10 years out from this, but I think it's really cool. They're, they're testing a lot of concepts and it's cool that all these metaverses are coming out and you get to buy land and it's decentralized and it's open source and it's on the blockchain. And we're testing all these theories out. We're in the mode of, we're all pioneers right now. We're all testing different things out. So most of us that are involved in Web3 know that it's the future, but we don't know what it looks like. We don't know how it's going to land. And it's in a very, exciting time and I love staying up to date every single day but I do think the biggest scam is that corporations are being told the metaverse is here now and it's Decentraland and it's Sandbox and it's Axie Infinity. I think that's a lie. The metaverse is coming, but it is not here just quite yet. So my money is not in any of those metaverses. My money is simply on the concept of the metaverse and your money should be too. With that being said, guys, I also do have an app that I'm developing right now. It's a marketplace for real estate in the metaverse and it is called Digiland. It's not out yet, but if you have more questions about it, feel free to either comment or email me. And with that being said, please don't be scared of any of this info or information. This is simply to inform you guys. And the more you stay up to date, the more money you could make. I strongly, strongly believe in that. Please always invest in the concept of the metaverse and always do your due diligence and your own research. Try not to invest into a specific metaverse unless it's early on, it's cheaper entry, and you've done your research inside and out on that metaverse. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay up to date on all my videos, and I hope you guys have an incredible day.